going guys? Gaming Goddess here and today we are checking out the Sherwood Forest Fair which is located just east of Austin in McDade, Texas. This event began on the weekend of March 2nd and will continue every weekend until April 21st. This is their 15th annual event and my first time attending so I'm super excited to share my experience of this renaissance fair with all of you. And believe me when I say this but there is a lot to do here. So, to start things off, for those who might not know, a renaissance or run fair is usually an outdoor event that aims to recreate the English renaissance era. The fairground actors and its attendees will dress up in period correct clothing to portray kings, queens, princesses, knights, gestures, etc. While some run fairs like to create more of a historical setting, you will find some events that will also welcome fantasy elements such as fairies, elves, and wizards. Now, without further ado, let's get into the review. Sherwood Forest offers a wide range of entertainment for its guests, with over 150 shows taking place every day for the duration of the event. These shows include, but is not limited to, live music performances, storytellers, magicians, and even gestures. Of course, one day is simply not enough time to watch every show, but of the ones I did get to see, I have to say the jousting tournament was by far the coolest, so let's go ahead and check it out. Another great show was the Sky King Falconry. Watching as the hawks fly across the stage was so majestic, as these birds are very well trained. I did notice a few of the attendees got to hold the bird on their arm when it landed. I highly recommend checking it out the next time you attend Sherwood Forest Fair. Aside from shows, this event also has a variety of rides like this giant swing, a carousel, and even the spinning cup ride, as well as a few different medieval era carnival games that you can play like this puzzle one, and even a strength test. Now of all the games available, I did get to play one in particular, and yes, it was this tomato throwing one. Basically the guy insults you while you try to hit him, and it was actually pretty fun since I did manage to land a hit. But what can I say? Don't insult Raptalia or you will feel her rage. I'm a human being, you psycho! Ugh. Oh my god, you think I get an HMO in this job? This event also had a knife and axe throwing booth, which looked pretty fun, as well as archery, and I will definitely be trying that out next time. Like I mentioned, there is a lot to do here, and quite honestly, I didn't even scratch the surface as Sherwood Forest also offers a forest quest for the attendees to take part in, where you can solve riddles and puzzles. There's a sculpting contest, as well as a costume contest, and even an escape room. You can even camp for the weekend if you choose to do so, just be sure to read and follow the rules of the campsite. Sherwood Forest Fair will also allow you to host your wedding during the time of the event or even off-season. Knowing what I know now about the fair, I will definitely be planning things out a little better so I can experience more games and activities the next time I visit. While walking around the fairgrounds, I notice that there are a lot of different shops. You can find everything from clothes that match the era, to weapons like swords, knives, bows, and armor, 
There's people also walking around selling flower crowns. And of course, a wide range of artisan goods, including pottery and metalsmithing. One booth in particular definitely caught my eye though. That was Mega Mouse Arts. You guys know I love my anime, so I had to stop in and check it out. I even purchased the Naofumi and Raftilia piece to hang up in my office later. Hello! Hi. Hello! Uh, how are you enjoying Sherwood Forest? I love it here. It is great. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about your art? Uh, so I am Mega Mouse Arts. Uh, I've been here since 2018. I like drawing um, Japanese anime-inspired art and fantasy uh, animals and original characters. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at some of your stuff and it's really good. I like it. Thank you so much. And um, will you be back next year? Uh, I hope so. I've been here for seven years and I hope to be here every year going forward. Awesome. Well, it was very nice meeting you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you. Another shop that caught my eye was Holler's Glass. Here is set up with these huge furnaces and throughout the day they will give live demonstrations on the creation process of their works. Unfortunately, I didn't get to catch a demonstration this time around, but all the glass that was available for purchase was so cool looking. Aside from the various merchandise that you can buy from all of the different shops, there is also a ton of food and beverage stalls. Now, this is a family friendly event, so... Just because it says bar or tavern, it doesn't mean you'll only find alcoholic drinks. There's plenty of variety for everyone. Plus, it's a good opportunity to maybe stop and have a snack or maybe try something new and just get an overall good rest before continuing the rest of your journey through the fairgrounds. Overall, I had a great time at Sherwood Forest Fair and quite honestly, the jousting tournament was probably my favorite event of the day. Not only do they joust, but there's also some sword play involved during the show as well. Of course, we can't forget about the many musical performances going on throughout the day. One of the bands I saw perform was actually a pirate themed one, and it was pretty fun. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I have never attended a Ren Fair before, so I didn't know what to expect. I had a general idea just from stories that I heard from friends that attend every year, but I will say I did feel a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of stuff available. Nevertheless, I did manage to have a good time and a good experience in general. It's honestly a neat environment and the structures of the buildings that house the shops in various places to eat are built really well and the overall atmosphere was good and the people were super friendly. I know it's not everyone's forte, but I do recommend checking it out if you're ever in the area during the fair season. It's a fun experience to do with the whole family or with a group of friends. You'll see some interesting things and maybe you'll enjoy it so much you'll come back for more. I know I will definitely be attending again. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, this has been a Gaming Goddess Convention Review. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep on gaming.